typically what happens is that you publish a newspaper and the newspaper gets thrown away. Uh, the yearbooks sort of get uh, more rare as the years go by. The days of history being thrown away or lost are over, thanks to a special digitization project. It just feels really nice to feel like you're uh, helping bringing a part of history to the present. The University of Arkansas's yearbook has been around since the 1800s, and now its pages aren't just printed, they're scanned. Now, there's a lot of steps in this process. The first of those is these two cameras taking a picture of the book here, scanning it, and then having it show up on this computer over here. From the comfort of my own computer, I can pull up a particular photograph or a particular story. A team of 10 consisting of both students and faculty is working to make over a hundred years of university history available online. Right now they have about 50 yearbook volumes available. It's a really important way that we preserve our history. For researchers like me, um, where am I going to go to find out about what happened at the University of Arkansas, say, during the war years in 1943? Larry Foley, the chair of the School of Journalism and Strategic Media, says the new documentation is meaningful for alumni, especially during homecoming week. Let's say someone comes back and, and they heard that their grandfather was a student here in 1898, and they just can't find an 1898 yearbook. Well, if it's digitized, they could probably go online and find it. For alumni and digital services tech Dexter Fairweather, this presents a unique way to compare the past to the present. It's nice to see where we came from and how uh, it's still relevant today. Foley says in the future, the library is looking to archive more student media work, like the student newscast. Yeah, I think that's uh, really good for people to just be able to look back and uh, remember the good times they had here and what they learned and the people that they were with. In Fayetteville, Clarice Bustamante, Fox 24 News.